Jeff with Island Hopper TV and I'm back with Bob in hey, the Mal. what's up guys? And we're going to explore Philippines' tallest mountain, Mount Apo. We're going around the region. We're not going to go to the top, but there's some coffee out there. What else is there, Bob? We have some hot springs out there. We have some civet coffee, which is really legendary in Java. And this is the only place in the Philippines that's doing the same kind of coffee. So if you like coffee, if you want to hear about more of the civet, the most expensive coffee in the world to buy per pound, we are heading there and we're heading up the mountain. We're going to hit some hot springs for a good price. So if you're in Davao and you want to go to a hot spring cheap, it's a good place. Yeah. So Was it Den Hu's place? Yeah. Suppose we go to the restaurant? Hi. I don't think they have beer, Bob. They have beer? San Miguel Light? Or Red Horse? That's good. Okay. Yeah. What am I doing? This one, yeah. Two? Okay. <coughs> or can we have one with a glass? With Vasos? Got a little Vasos? Those are 500 milliliters. Do you want refugee at agencies here? Oh, really? some bungalows. So this is uh, the mountain resort area where Sunny Dizan, owner of Crocodile Park, he owns this also. The Asian palm civet, it's a cat. Oh, I see. So what they do is they uh, let the cat eat the bean and uh, what happens is the cat's stomach digests the outside part of the cherry and the rest of it is pooped out, the actual bean clean, and then they wash it and roast it, grind it up, and make coffee. So we're going to sample that coffee. It's going to be amazing, guys. Oh, <laughs> man. Yes, ma'am. 200 per cup? 200 per cup. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, do you want to get two or do you just want to split one? Split one. Split one. This is a taste test for a block. All right, so this is the most expensive coffee in the world. It's called Civet Coffee. You can see the cat, the Civet Cat, eats the coffee cherry or the coffee bean, poops it out, cleans off the cherry, and then that's what becomes the coffee bean. And they brew it, and it's the world's most expensive coffee. It's the most expensive coffee. The variation from Indonesia is the most expensive, but this itself is very expensive as well. This is the only place in the Philippines that does a civet coffee. So it's four dollars, I mean 200 pesos, but if someone were to buy the bag, say in Holland or New York City, how much would they pay for a pound of civet coffee? Uh, roughly about a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. Uh -huh. Probably more than that actually. Probably more than that. What makes it so good, you know? Well. It's the unique way that the cat actually picks the cherries. It just doesn't get hand shoveled cherries to eat. It picks what cherries it will eat, eats them, and then then it gets processed in the stomach of the cat. Got it. I just read to you what it says. It says, Mount Apo Civic Coffee is from naturally grown, chemical free Arabica beans from the rich volcanic soil of Mount Apo in altitudes of over 1,500 meters, which is about over 3,000 feet. A civet eats the berries for their fleshy pulp in its stomach. Proteolytic enzymes, okay, seeps into the beans, making shorter peptides and more free amino acids. These beans yield an aromatic coffee, which much less, with much less bitterness. The mix of variety of soil elevation and the civet digestion selection and mild roasting makes this coffee truly heavenly. So, you can pause that if you want to read this. So, here we go. This is the Civet Coffee. Right now we're gonna try it in the raw form without cream and sugar. And I'll tell you what I think of it. It's got like a real nutty kind of very aromatic smell to it. You can tell it's an Arabica kind of coffee and not a Robusta. Um, it's very less acidic than regular coffee, I can tell. Personally for me, I like coffee with cream and sugar, but it's very good. Okay, so we're gonna try this coffee. I'm gonna try it black. I put cream and sugar. Black is fine. Mm. It's good. It is. Good coffee. One pound. One pound. One pound. Can you show us? This one is 100 grams for 1,500. So this is $30 for 100 grams. To put in retrospect, it's 2.2 pounds per kilo. So 500 grams is a pound. 500, a little bit like 400 something. So you're talking, yeah, 15,000. So about 7,000 per pound. So 140 bucks a pound for this coffee. Wow. 140 bucks a pound. Awesome. What's this village? This is Santa Cruz Village. We got a whole church here. What's the elevation up here? Like 3,000? Yeah. Around 3,000. 3,800 feet, to be exact. What's the size? How tall is Mount Apo, though? Mount Apo. The peak. Roughly. We don't know. About 3,000.
Yeah, can't you turn it on and just use that? Thank you so much. down there okay. but what just happened we just got stuck in the mud yeah so I'll try to drive down the hill with this money yeah because even me I have dirt tires on my truck no four-wheel drive no four-wheel drive but nice dirt tires why don't you park up here right here yeah, I What? You hear something? It's a water irrigation? Thought it was a snake? Now this is turning into a real adventure, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we got stuck up on top of that hill. Uh, we saw that this guy on a motorcycle couldn't get up. And so we were like, okay, let's see if we can back out of here. We couldn't, our tires were spinning out. So we decided if we came all the way over here, we're actually gonna go down here. But uh, that took, Probably a good 30 minutes of real luck and st stress. Got a little creek. A little high. creek. Yeah. Where's the hot spring? The hot oh, I see. Kind of wet, muddy right now. So this is a hot spring over here. We just got our truck stuck, but we got it out. It took about a half hour to get out. You can see I'm all muddy. Maybe about 90 degrees. It's about 90 degrees? 90 degrees. It's not incredibly hot. It's a little steamy. Yeah. Oh, they're pumping it in from up there? Yeah, it was a gravity feed. Nice. Yeah. So, it's a cheap place to go and, uh, it's pretty got bamboo and, you know. A little muddy today, but other than that, I've been here before and I've had a great time. It's one of the local favorites for Santa Cruz up here. Nice.
And the water in the hot spring is not dirty. It's not muddy. It's just muddy outside. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're in a rainforest, so. Yeah. Maybe we can hike right up here instead of the road. Yeah. It's a bit cooler here than down below, so. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's. It's probably like 50 degrees. Or probably 55 degrees. Nah, it's like 60. Is it 60? Okay. It's 65, maybe. Feels like my air conditioned room. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since our shirts are wet from the rain, it feels a little bit cooler. I mean, there's still enough humidity here. Bamboo, guys. Bamboo. Look at the garden, nice. Yeah. We got a nice little garden. Is this a bamboo mango? Native house. Oh. Okay. 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 Very good. It was oh, good. It's, it's simple. Simple. <laughs> Do you have water? Yeah. Uh, drink. Yes, please. Okay. One only. Two, please. You want one, right, Bobby? Huh. Yeah, might as well, because the right back. Yeah. Well, we got out. We got out. For a fat guy like me. <laughs> you came from America? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. We're American, but I live in Davao. Are uh, you in Filipina? No, African. Joke loud. Joke. No. Joke, joke. <laughs> Filipina. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I thought if you've already been here last time. Mm. I have. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember. I'm oh. the tour guide today. Ah, okay. <laughs> My good friend from Hawaii before. Ah, Hawaii. World traveled. Ah, <coughs> so I'm showing him the Philippines. He went to <laughs> Vietnam last week. Ah, okay. What's your name? Ingesel. Ingesel. Yes, my name there in the tarpaulin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Beautiful house. I love your garden right here. <laughs> nice garden. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very good. Nice garden. All right, sir and ma'am. Okay. Have a great day. Yeah. Thank you for showing. Yeah. Thank you. We'll do. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. So that's going to conclude uh, this vlog from Mount Apo. Uh, pretty good up here. Big rainforest. Got Civic Coffee, hot springs, beautiful views, cool village, and some mud bogging. And nice people. And nice people, real friendly people. Alright, so we'll see you on the next episode of Island Hopper TV.